Today I'm just going to ramble on about the clutches, the oil pump and the cover, get it cleaned up with a new gasket. I've lifted a few things out of this case, obviously the clutches, I've released the oil pump, that's the little pinion that goes on the crankshaft and I've been mopping out the floor of this case with the paper shop rag it's all looking pretty good that's the oil pump fitted one of the tricks with the oil pump is getting the Phillips head style screws out they're actually JIS standard that's the tip I've used I've got a tip for my impact driver it's quite a large Phillips head with a blunt nose The screws in here, that fits very nicely in the screws with no play in it and it bottoms out properly. It's not got a tip on it that bottoms in the hole. It's important because if you don't have the right tip, the screws are fairly tight and they have a tendency to strip the head. There's another screw there holding the barrel bearing in and this tip that I used on the oil pump, it's the same type of screw. I've got no play in that, in that tip at all. And it just slots in and is obviously made to fit. It's a JIS standard that heads of the bolts have got one little center pump mark on them indicating they're JIS and all these, all these Phillips head in the Suzuki are JIS. And then with the right screwdriver, you've got no problems in getting them out. Just calling out, there's corrosion on the bottom of this clutch basket here and around here and in there. It's uh, questionable as to whether that corrosion happened while a component like this was in the bike. I don't think there's evidence of corrosion on this face of that same gear. My feeling is that corrosion like that's happened prior to the bikes being assembled. It, it's appearing in some odd places. I'm putting the clutch basket back together. This is an example of a friction disc out of the clutch basket. They all look much the same. They're supposed to be 2.4 millimeters thick or something. I know from my previous bikes this one looks great in terms of amount of friction material. This is a steel ring that goes in between each one. They're all like that. I think they look fine. So I'm just stacking the stack of those up. This spool and then the whole lot's got to be tipped over and all of the friction discs aligned to slot into these slots around there. Just those slots there. The bottom of my centrifugal clutch cup has more corrosion around these sides, which I find quite unusual. Internally, the walls of the cup are in pretty good shape. They're uh, not very grooved. I'm happy that this cup will go again. It's got a heat mark on it, but I think that's fairly typical. I'm going to put, I'm going to run the wire wheel on some of this rust just to see if it smooths it off a bit, and then I'll fit it. I've given this cup a run on the wire wheel, which has reduced the, the burn mark around the outside there. I think it's just basically burnt oil and where the corrosion was it's softened that mark considerably and then I noticed well there's also corrosion marks inside there which I may give a spin with the uh, small wire brush in the impact driver 
to just soften those marks as well. But otherwise, fairly happy with this cup. This centrifugal clutch shoes are pretty worn. There's not a lot of groove left showing. What I'm going by is the thickness of material between the edge of the shoe, edge of the metal there, and the outer shoe. I'm guessing there's about a millimetre and a half. The edge is a little bit chipped, but that's fairly normal, I believe. I'm going to run that. I think there's a little bit of life left in that. I think the bike's going to run around okay. I just need to bear in mind to keep an eye out for a better one. This is the springs tightened up without the top plate so that you can get the socket on there that locks the, with the springs in place there, it locks the inner and outer of the clutch together so that you can tighten that nut up without the inner trying to spin. Uh, it's one thing to have a rag jammed in the cogs. That fixes the problem of it wanting to turn on itself. I'm happy with how everything on this side has gone back together. Yes, it's got worn centrifugal clutch. That's really the only problem I have that I'm identifying. The cover's ready to go back on there, but the cover having its own minor issues. I was expecting to keep the gasket, the original gasket, because it hadn't it had come off in one piece. But while I was handling it, cleaning it, it started to fracture. And so I broke the rest of it away. And now I need to clean off the remaining and go and make another gasket. It's relatively clean on the inside there. It's had a bit of degreaser and a wash in water. I'll give it a proper wash in hot soapy water when I've cleaned the outside. The outside is uh, needing a number of areas sort of wire brushed to get the Detritus, I hear uh, somebody say. Detritus, is that a uh, Ralphie custom word? Yeah, get some of that shit off the outside. I'm going to give this cover a bit of a polish up on the outside. I've got it fairly clean on the inside. We'll see how I go with my little rotary wire brush. That's my new gasket ready to go back on. I've cleaned the cover up a bit. Still struggle to get in these gaps with my wheel. I was actually using a wire toothbrush a little bit on this one. This uh, cover looks a little bit blotchy. I didn't want to polish too much on it. It's a uh, lot cleaner than it was. It's ready to be fitted up tomorrow. I could say thanks for watching, but nah. Get off your ass and get out to your shed and have some fun.